your girl, Hey Marie. Thanks for stopping back by my channel. And today we have a Valentine's Day look with my girl XL and Fretful. So let's jump right into this thing. So what you see me doing here is carving out my eyeballs with the Anastasia dip brow. And I didn't show too much of it because I have a whole eyeball tutorial going on on my channel already. So I'm just going to give you bits and peeks of how I do my eyeballs. If y'all want a full detail, I will have that video link down below. So right now I'm just using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium just to conceal my eyes. Y'all, I do not like this stuff, so I am trying my best to use it up in any way possible. I'm taking a Proto Air Sponge just to set that concealer so we can get it popping with all these colors. Yeah. We're doing a glitter cut crease for the V-Day. So this is a cute way to be cute for your boo. So, as y'all see, I'm taking that orange color and that yellow color, blend it together just to make the eyeshadow look more of a transition color. And y'all gotta remember to blend, 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 blend. Make sure you blend. I put more of the yellow color on the inside and more of the orange on the outside. And now you see me using that brown color. So once, so where I'm trying to do, oh God, y'all. So what I'm trying to do is pack on that brown before blending it out so that it can deposit a little bit more of the color than just a faded blown out look. And remember to go back and blend real good. Once you put all those colors together, you're going to see me go back with my other brush to blend out those edges. And here we go. We blending. We blending, boo boo. Y'all, this is my first voiceover, so excuse me if I get a little extra. On this voiceover. So now I'm taking the black out of the Jaclyn Hill um, Morphe palette and I'm gonna build it up the same way I did that brown. I'm gonna pack it on before I blend it out and y'all excuse those curly hair kids behind me. Y'all know my kids try to make a baby in every video. So you see I didn't bring that black up too far and now I'm going back in with that brown and blending out those edges of the black because you don't want to look like you've been punched in your eye when you with your boo. So you got to make sure to blend all those colors into one. So yes. It's time to cut that crease, honey. We're going to cut that crease, and we're using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in, I believe that's medium. And we're going to cut that crease, and we're not going to do it way too big. We're just going to get it just right. And as y'all see, y'all see the other kids in the video. So I just wanted to show y'all how much of a struggle it is out here in these streets to cut this crease boo my eye is forever twitching it's always shaking like man why i love to cut creases so much when it's so hard to do so hard to do and i always try to curve mine into the c in a c shape instead of going dragging it all the way out but y'all <laughs> At this moment, I realized that my eyebrow bone was not shapopping. 
So I had to go in with that champagne color by the Morphe and the Jaclyn Hill and put it on there, boo, and hurry up and blend it out. Now, back on to the eye color. <laughs> We're going to take that pinkish, goldish color from the Juvia's Place Zulu palette. And we're going to put that only on the center part of your mobile lid. And we're just going to pack it on. Do not swipe, y'all. Just pack it on. And you want to give it a good pack. You want to kind of press it in. So now here we are with that. That, um, that matte purple on the outer view. Just to give it a gradient effect. And right here, you see me dipping off into the BH Cosmetics Tropicana palette. And I mix both of the silver shades, that dark silver shade and that light silver. Oh, y'all. Ah, this liquid liner. This mixed matte velvet liquid liner. It's the vinyl liner, y'all. Oh, my God. I had asked a couple of girls in this one makeup group on Facebook what is their favorite liquid liners. And so many people gave me this mixed liner. And I got to go get some more because I only use that. Like, I only use that, y'all. So, we're going to take. Y'all, this is a little eyelash glue that came in one of my sets of lashes. And I don't, I always throw them away. So I decided to try it out for the glitter. And listen, I liked it. I, I liked it. Now, I don't like that it's so little that I could barely freaking get it on my eyelid. But I like it. And I also like, I also like putting on my glitter with with the um I also like putting on the glitter be, the liner before my glitter because it doesn't look so chunky so as y'all can see I'm using the BH Cosmetics glitter loose glitter in the color pink to build it up on top of that pink color that I already did and we're just going to build it up right there in the center and we're going to do every color that we already laid down with the eyeshadow and y'all have to move fast because that eyelash glue it really dries up really fast so now I'm doing the silver and I didn't get too much of a clip but I'm using the AOA studio glitter crystals To, to put those on. I'm sorry, y'all. Now I'm doing the purple, and it's also by Shop Miss A. Where I think they're called diamond crystals or something like that. It's it's loose glitter, and I'm using the purple one to put that on. And you just want to make it look like it's blending all together. Now I'm just brushing off any loose glitter I can because that glitter did get everywhere. It got everywhere, y'all. And thank God the foundation covered it up because I would have been looking like a $2 stripper with all that glitter everywhere. So I'm just coating my lashes with the L'Oreal. I think that's Butterfly Lash Mascara. I'm just coating it one good time. And now I'm just noticing that it was something on my lash prior to me putting it on. But these lashes are from one of my friends. Her name is Kersiera. And she has voluptuous scents. She has her own business. And I had picked up some lashes from her. And I wanted to try to use them for the first time in this video. I like them, but they're kind of heavy and it makes me feel like my eyes are weighing down. But nonetheless, I did like the style of the lashes. 
and here I am just showing it off and then I'm going to line my waterline with these new NYX Vivid Brights and this one is in pink and I think it's called Amethyst I want to say and this is my first time using that as well so the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation baby and warm coconut I'm going to give this a a full video on its own on a wear test Wednesday um of course on camera it looks a little orange but after a while once it oxidized it looks really good but I'm not going to give too many details on it because I do plan on doing its own video but you guys that that sponge I'm using to set my foundation I mean to blend out my foundation is the Maybelline I'm Maybelline God slow down boo boo it is that Real Techniques body sponge and y'all Ashley B Beauty got me on that and I am in love so let's jump back on to the wet and wild photo focus concealer this one is in the shade medium y'all y'all know I'm a wet and wild fan y'all know I'm a ride or die with the wet and wild boo we're gonna go ahead and highlight in our good in our good spots and here we are I did everything off camera and the pictures that you're seeing right now popping up is everything I used my battery had went dead you guys the struggle the struggle of a youtuber the battery went dead so I had to do my face off camera but I did give it to y'all and let y'all know what I used so this highlighter y'all this highlighter when I tell y'all, when other YouTubers, bigger YouTubers tell you to check out something from a treasure hunt they found, go do what they say. Because Ashley B. Beauty mentioned this highlighter that she found on Instagram, and it's by M MFT Cosmetics, and this highlighter is in the shade T Era. Yeah. Oh my God, I am so so in love with that damn highlighter watch how cute my nose looks just just watch look at that look at that button nose y'all girl and i smashed that nose so good today oh i am in love yes ma'am honey look at that look at that glow come through come through yeah Y'all, that highlighter is a beautiful gold color. Y'all need to check it out. I will have their link down below on Instagram so y'all can check it out. Man, check it out. So now we're going to go in one of my holy grails, that one that brings your alter ego out. Yes, ma'am. Night Moth by MAC. Y'all, when y'all put on this and pair it with a nude, pair it with hair on, pair it with anything. Night Moth is one of those purples that you could pair with anything and she bring out the auto ego. Yeah, I am talking so fast. So I decided to mix it with the Nicki Minaj. I think this one was, I don't know. It's a Nicki Minaj Shines Mac and I paired it with that, sprayed my face a little bit more and boom. There you go, boo. Look at her. Look at her. Yeah, the wig review on this is coming very, very, very soon. This is a wig made by Viva La Peak Posh here on YouTube. And y'all, don't come for me. See, I just tried the wig on. I haven't even did nothing to it yet. So don't come for me. I know my lace ain't laid. I know this. But I just really wanted to see what the wig looked like with this little beat face so don't come for me but i love y'all i thank y'all for watching make sure make sure you go check out xl incredible i will have her channel linked down below don't forget we came to slay for the valentine's day with your bae all right boo boo so i hope y'all enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe share it with your friends 
And if you decide to do this look, go ahead and tag us on our social medias. It will all be linked down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.